Hello and welcome to the Tara Empress channel. My name is Isabel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. In today's tarot card reading, I'm going to be looking at what's going on in your love life, right? I'm going to be looking at several elements that may be of importance to you in this tarot card spread. I'm also going to be pulling out some messages from your person towards the end. If you'd like to book a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Right now, most of them are sold out, but you can check back next week. Please note that you can only purchase personal tarot card readings from me on the tarotempress.com. I'm not on any other platform or any type of social media outlets. Right, so let's begin your tarot card reading. So this is looking at your energy. What I'm seeing from these particular cards is a very interesting combination of energies. The very first card is giving me the impression here that some of you have been through a set of circumstances that may have left you feeling as if you cannot trust anyone or perhaps, you know, it's better for you to sort of focus on yourself. It feels as if there's an energy where you're not willing to give love a chance. There could be a backstory there for many of you because you may have been hurt in love or you may have been disappointed by an individual per se. Now, what I see right now is that there's an element here of things changing. There's a potential that uh, something new may come along or there could be a major shift that is occurring for you in your love life right now. If you're unattached and you're single and you're looking for love, there's the prospect of it as well, right? I'm getting a very positive indication from the way that these cards have turned out, but I'm going to have to clarify them to get a much uh, better understanding of them. Now, I feel like there's a sense here of you, you know, moving towards this energy where you're figuring yourself out. You have a lot of reflection. You have a lot of understanding. Uh, for some of you, there's a sense here of either having closed the door to the past completely and entirely and, uh, you know, opening yourself up to knowing yourself better versus trying to, you know, go out there and actively be present in a connection where that person is not concerned about your happiness, right? So I feel like for many of you, you know, there may have been a set of circumstances where you were giving to a relationship, but you were not being fulfilled in return, right? So what I'm getting from these energies is an indication uh, that you may have learned a lot of lessons in terms of uh, the past relationships that you have been in. Uh, there may have been some significant breakthroughs that could have been occurring. And I'm getting the impression here that something major is occurring right now that is leading to a profound change and transformation in your world. So much so to the extent that the old you is gone. You may have had a lightning strike, a light bulb kind of moment occur where the people you once loved and cared for are no longer the people that you currently love and care for anymore and this could be a very profound kind of thing that spirit is indicating here yeah. i feel like what i'm also getting at from these particular cards is an indication uh, that there's a sense here of you having to overcome something in your world right now. There's a sense here of this energy which is indicating that you're going to be breaking free out of something. You're leading up to this uh, very, very shortly. I just want to get some clarification in terms of that. It feels as if, you know, there's, there's something in your world right now uh, that you are transcending and moving over. It feels like it's very, very powerful, right? Hmm. Now, if you were dealing with an individual that was playing games, if you were dealing with an individual that has, uh, you know, had a hard time sort of overcoming their own personal demons, overcoming some of their own struggles, I feel like there's a sense here of you either cutting ties entirely with this individual. This person could have been a narcissistic, they could have been a karmic, they could have been somebody uh, that was highly toxic to a certain extent. 
And I feel like, you know, with all these cards that have come out, there's, there's a lot of swords energy here, which could lead to the uh, notion that perhaps you were dealing with either an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, potentially. So I feel like what Spirit is indicating, and or they could have those elements in their chart. Uh, Spirit is alluding to the fact that there's, uh, you know, the sense of either cutting ties or severing ties entirely. Uh, I feel like many of you had no choice but to do this. You felt as if, you know, uh, the time was, you know, had to be right in order for this to occur. Uh, this person may have been deceptive. They may have been a liar. They may have been somebody who plays games. Uh, they could be prone to cheating in previous relationships. They may have, um, you know, came into your life with that kind of notion. So I get that very heavily from these uh, particular energies. I'm also sensing here... Uh, that many of you are moving towards, uh, you know, something new. I feel like there's a life-changing love uh, that's going to happen when you finally have severed all of these energies, right? Now, I do have a course on Break Free from Karmic Unions. If you guys are interested in that, you can check it out in the description box below. Now, this particular card is, you know, the cards actually are giving me an indication of the fact that there's um, this sort of minor challenge in terms of overcoming those elements. And, you know, many of you are on the point of which you are finally having the courage to get rid of these individuals in your life that have no purpose, no merit, no place in it. It feels like, you know, maybe you see through them right now. Maybe you are able to gauge who they really are as individuals. They may have played games. They may have, you know, sort of acted in certain ways that were very repulsive in the past. And once you see a certain nature or character of an individual, it's very hard to see them in another type of light, I feel. I feel like it takes major transformation for that to occur. And I don't feel like your person is able to do that, especially if you're dealing with an air sign. I feel like this individual is perhaps stuck in that conundrum of sort of uh, enjoying themselves, you know, uh, lying, cheating, doing things behind the scenes, being a coward, hiding their face under different type of aliases. They could have that type of habit. And I feel like this individual sees that as sort of a, a humorous game for them to play. But I also see that they cannot escape that cage that they put themselves in, even if they tried. I see here from these energies, there's an indication of the fact that this person, uh, they couldn't break out of the cage that they've created, even if they've they were Harry Houdini. I'm getting that very, very heavily from a uh, spirit right now. So what I see here is that, you know, walking away, it, once you have the courage to do so completely and entirely, um, you know, some of you have already done so, there's going to be this, you know, very quick movement towards um, this lightning change. It feels as if it's, it's very profound, it's going to be very big, and it's going to be life-changing, especially from the way that these cards have come out. Somebody may come into your world very suddenly, very quickly, um, take you by surprise. You know, it may surprise you to such a large extent. And this person could be everything that you were looking for in an individual, somebody that can really provide you with the happiness and joy uh, that you're looking for in life. Yeah, I feel like, you know, when people see you, they may see you as somebody who deserves so much more, and they may see you as someone that is going to get so much more. They feel as if, you know, uh, this is looking at how people are viewing you, the attitude of you. They see that you may have been disappointed or you may have been, you know, in a situation where you've extended yourself to someone that wasn't really appreciative of you. It feels as if there's an energy uh, of um, these individuals wanting you to stand up for yourself, to demand the happiness and love that you deserve. So I'm picking that up very, very heavily in terms of these particular energies. So this is a very powerful and positive sign here that sometimes you just have to um, do what is necessary for yourself. Let's see some of the possible obstacles that you may face.
Yeah, I feel like the person that you were dealing with is sort of going to be watching you very closely and, you know, they're going to be thinking about uh, what they could have had, the possibility of love, the possibility of happiness, the possibility of joy, you know, and all of that has sort of slipped from their fingers completely and entirely. Uh, this person could be an air sign in their sun, their moon or their Venus, so do keep that in mind or they could have uh, plenty of air in their charts, right? Now... I feel like what Spirit is indicating is that this individual is going to be thinking long and hard about, you know, who you've become as a result of what has occurred. And uh, I feel like there's an energy which is indicating that they cannot sort of escape this. I feel like they're going to be watching you and I feel like they're going to be ruminating and thinking about it. But it isn't really a possible obstacle because this person can't do anything at this point in time. I don't really feel like they have any other option but just to watch and sort of fade away from your life. What is going to be the final outcome for you? Wow, okay. So I'm getting an indication of you breaking free. And, uh, you know, I feel like these cards are indicating that you are, you know, going to be taking away your light from this individual because I feel like you were shining a light on this person's life. You were giving them hope. You were giving them, um, you know, sort of your time, your energy, and they were feeding off that energy. It's like an energy vampire, kind of. And I feel like you're going to be breaking free out of that. But you're not only breaking free out of this particular situation. You're severing ties with the other energy vampires, the other individuals in your world that may have been sucking your energy dry and perhaps not leaving you with much. So I feel like Spirit is indicating here that you're coming into your own, you're gaining back your power. And, um, you know, there's not going to be any sort of room or outlet for these type of individuals to come back into your world. This is a very powerful reading. It is indicating here that uh, you're on the precipice of something very big. And um, it is something that is going to be very important for your life overall. Let's get some cards. I did see the number 1414, so that might be of relevance to some of you. Okay, very interesting. So on one hand, we have this card, I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. I feel like this is uh, rather your energy yeah. And the person's energy you're dealing with is have my kids. I want to have a family with you. I know you'd be an amazing parent and I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. So they're completely on a different type of spectrum here because I feel like what Spirit is indicating is that there's a complete denial over what has occurred in the situation. Uh, this could be due to the fact that this individual may have had a struggle with emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. So they may have some actual struggles, but deep inside, they may have actually wanted to, um, you know, have kids with you and um, start a life with you. We also have this card, feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore, and it's easier to just stay in silence. Uh, they may be in silence, and I see that these energies here are indicating that this person is going to be going with them and really thinking about um, what has happened and what has occurred in the course of the situation, right? So very eye-opening kind of uh, energies that have come out. I feel like a lot of you are on a path of um, serving your own needs first rather than serving other people's needs Especially since you may have realized that, you know, it's important to put your own happiness first before other people. Like, if you ever are in a position where you've been putting other people's happiness first, it's not really self-serving. It doesn't really bring joy in the long run. You know, people can wake up happy one day and they can wake up moody the next day. It's not your job to sort of manage their emotions for them. Uh, I always feel like it's necessary for you to put space between, you know, people that are having a bad day and to go on your way and do your own thing and be happy. It's also not your responsibility to uplift people and make them feel better about themselves because they have to do that on their own. They have to learn to manage their own emotions, their own happiness. Uh, you can't be doing that for them all the time. So we have cards here. 
your eyes are enchanting. I'm not ready to reach out to you. No one is ever going to replace how I feel about you. But for some of you, uh, this could be too late. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, I want to message you, but I'm scared you might reject me. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you have moved past that, certainly. Especially if you're dealing with someone who's been very cold, distant, sort of acting like they don't care. I feel like you're over it and you're moving towards something better, bigger and brighter for your future. We see here that uh, you're definitely withdrawing your energy and you're focusing more on yourself. You're breaking free out of a lot of things. This could be due to, uh, you know, the Piscean age, the fact that we moved to the Aquarian age. A lot of uh, connections from the past have been severed as a result. A lot of uh, situations that have been toxic and narcissistic and crazy have been severed as a result. And those kind of factors and elements can't be carried forth. That's why we see and witness a great awakening that's happening in the world. A lot of the lies in the past are being revealed right now. A lot of the things that haven't really, you know, been in the open before is being pronounced right now. And we have a lot of, um, you know, humans standing up for humans. And so we're witnessing these kind of things where people are putting up boundaries and they're learning their value. They're learning their essence, what they bring to the table. I always say that if someone is like messing up an opportunity with you, there's going to be someone who comes in, another type of person who comes in and they, they got it all together they have it all uh figured out and they're ready for that relationship they're ready for that happiness they're ready for that happily ever after and they're going to give you everything that you ever wanted uh just because you went through one circumstances with an individual who couldn't figure themselves out doesn't mean that you're destined to be with that person so think very carefully if you're in a twin flame situation or karmic situation or soulmate situation does this person make you happy do they bring you, um, you know, that joy? And you have to sustain your own happiness on your own. But essentially, a person has to be pleasant to deal with. And if they're not pleasant to deal with in your day-to-day -day dealings with them, or they're sort of hiding and, you know, dancing around in the corner, sort of playing games and things like that, now you see me, now you don't, it's kind of pointless to deal with these type of individuals. Um, you know, they say a leopard doesn't change its spots. So I do feel like sometimes a person can be so sincere and caring and they could uh, actually change. Uh, but once that water is under the bridge, the water is under the bridge. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.